good morning and welcome to florida day 12 i've spent and checked on my little planner florida day 12 there's 18 of these days so there's still plenty more um right so as I explained at the end of the last video, today we have got early morning magic at Fantasyland and then the rest of the day at Hollywood Studios, hopefully through to Fantasmic if we can manage it. Um, so it's currently 10 to 7, we need to get moving and get a taxi to Magic Kingdom. What time is it? 20 past 7. Transportation to Magic Kingdom. Off we go. Tap in and we're letting people in. So they're letting um, early morning magic wristbands in and um, breakfast reservations at the same time. Obviously we've got wristbands. <coughs> Do I show your wristband? Very nice. It's cute. Yeah. So, it looks like there's a lot of people but really on the grand scheme of things it's not that many. Quite a lot of these are breakfast reservations as well as early morning magic. So when we get into Fantasyland, I'll then show you how many people there is then, so we can see really how many they let in for. Uh... Okay, here comes the castle. Got to film it every time. Ta -da! Can't really see it. One minute. And there's a tree. Lots of trees. Maybe we'll get to it in a minute. <laughs> Should have walked right down the middle of Main Street. <laughs> oh, I'm funny. There we go. We're getting that castle shot. <laughs> it's a rubbish one, but it'll do. Okay, so the breakfast reservations have to go off to the right, I think. Is that the sign for breakfast over there? Oh no, early morning magic to the right. Yeah. There's the castle. Right, yes, yeah, so this sign says Disney early morning magic, which is weird because it's the complete opposite direction to Fantasyland, but we'll see. The next one is the next one is um, the breakfast queue. So most people are heading straight to Seven Dwarfs first, with it being the most popular in Fantasyland. We, however, are going to do all the little ones first, mainly ones we haven't done, like Winnie the Pooh, which is here. We're not going to do that yet. Um, Peter Pan's flight. Etc. Etc. And then in a little bit we're going to do Seven Dwarfs because then everyone will have calmed down doing that and we'll have moved on to the other ones. I still want to do my cars to wrap up mine train before the park. Oh yeah, definitely. We'll do it in early morning magic. Just that's the main one that everyone heads to first, thinking, oh yeah. But they'll queue. Look, see, they're going to queue for like half an hour. Standby entrance is 30 minutes. Oh my god. If we wait half an hour, it'll probably drop down. Or well, at least I'm hoping. I'll let you know if it does. Most people say you wait for like tops 10, 20 minutes. Yeah. Which is nothing. Yeah. 
As long as we get in that queue before nine, it's fine. And they serve the breakfast till 10. Yeah, so we've got to make sure we get breakfast. But by that time, the park opens, so... Yeah. Well, the park opens at nine, so we have an hour... No, wait a minute. Yeah, an hour yeah, we've and 15 minutes. I think we'll do some rides first and we'll meet the princesses. There's, you can get the castle shot from the back. What's this one? The people around Seven Dwarfs. It's literally dead, it's so worth paying for this, especially if you come in in a... What, Seven Dwarfs? Well, let's do Winnie the Pooh first and then... Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely worth paying the extra, especially if you're coming in a high season. Because in the day, that Peter Pan's flight, we've not seen it lower than 70 minutes. And we've just literally walked on. Let's do Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. It's a five minute wait, which basically means it's walk on. Okay, we've literally walked straight on. Lovely. 
when it made it feel as if he was on water. It was very realistic in my opinion. So it was very good. Really enjoyed that. Right. So, we're opposite Seven Dwarfs. What should we do? It's on 20 now. What time is it? It's six minutes past eight. Oh, it's only six minutes past eight. Right, let's, do the, let's do the teacups. To the teacups. We've not been on these yet because this is yet another one that has a ridiculous queue because they're like the traditional Disneyland rides. This is always a cute one. This is one I always remember as a child at Disneyland Paris. Should we go in this one? Yeah. It's time to go on this monstrosity another time. It's fun! <laughs> it's nowhere near as bad as um, Exhibition Everest. Jesus, that was the most horrendous ride I've ever been on in my life. I don't know if I've mentioned it, but it was horrendous. So, off to Seven Dwarfs. I don't know, I haven't decided if I'm going to film it because I did film it last time. Just enjoy it. So, I think I'm just, yeah, I think I'm just going to enjoy it. Put the camera away for this one. Okay, we've just done mine train, <coughs> sorry, twice. First time was at the front, second time was the very back. Um, completely different experience. The front is really tame. The back's a lot more whippy and a lot more, a little bit more force. Um, if you haven't been on it yet and you are scared of rides but you want to give it a try request the front first so you can test the water see what the track's like it's nowhere near as intense if you are a ride person you really like rides make sure you go to the back it's that's what not I would that say. intense though like it's not that intense compared to everest i'd say big thunder's probably more intense no i'd say but it's got more i'd say drops. it's big thunder but it goes faster big thunder but no i wouldn't say it goes faster i'd say it has more drops but big thunder proper throws you around whereas this doesn't really throw you around like it's quite smooth um, but anyway we've done it twice we're going on for a third time and i'm going to film it this time for you okay we're row nine so second to back again we were on 10 last time which is the very bad one it's still the back part so most intense experience i know we've not done the middle yet oh well i think last i think the very first time i think we were the back row the second to last car yeah yeah so yeah. Hold that. You are? You've got to hold that on the I have. Oh, oh, there we go. Go. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for that then. Oh. Yeah. Okay, maybe I've not got a hold of it properly. <laughs> Ha ha ha! 
and other main princesses that Becky would want to meet. Yeah, I think, I'm not really bothered by anyone else. Yeah, I think this would just be Cinderella. Do you worry, Belle, Did we get the, the Little Mermaid and everything? Oh yeah, there's a Little Mermaid ride as well. Can I do that? Yeah, let's do that. Off we go again. Okay, so it's now 8.45. We've got 15 minutes until the park officially opens. Um, so we've been doing our early morning magic for an hour now and in an hour we have done Peter Pan's flight twice, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train three times, Winnie the Pooh once, um, the teacups once, Are we doing anything else? Um, I know I don't think so, we're about to do Little Mermaid. We're about to go on Little Mermaid which would make it another, oh, I was going to say the tail but I don't know what the tail is. Um, we could go on Seven Dwarfs again but we've done it three times. Yeah, yeah. There's the line already starting for people that have been at breakfast waiting to queue for it. It's already getting big and it's 15 minutes before the park has even opened. So we'll go and do a little mermaid and then if we've got time maybe do it again. Yeah, definitely. Because, like, the teacups and, like, the carousel and everything is not going to have a wait at night. No. Or we could go head over straight to Big Thunder. We could do. Yeah, should we head over straight to Big Thunder? I think that's a plan. I think we should head over there at night. Yeah. Yeah, so all the people that have just had breakfast reservations, not people that have paid for this event, they've just obviously got to come in early for the breakfast reservations, they've obviously eaten their breakfast rapid, and they're already queuing for seven drawers, but they're not allowed in the actual queuing area until nine because of the um, early morning magic. Yeah, we're gonna go and do Little Mermaid, and I absolutely love the outside of this ride. It's so detailed, it actually looks like we're at Anta Antarctica. Love it. So this is the coolest bit of the Little Mermaid when it makes you look like you're under the sea. You like go backwards and then they project onto the ceiling. Is it this bit? No, it's not this bit. Oh yeah, here it is. It's so cool. Oh, 
Big Thunder and then I think once we've done Big Thunder if we get on it which I'm sure we will um, I think we'll then go for breakfast yeah, yeah I'm starving. that's a plan so Becky was just saying we could technically get on seven doors again and walk past the massive queue which has now gone into the queuing area um, but we're gonna try and head to Frontierland and get on Big Thunder so hopefully they'll let us walk through I think they will So literally, the fireworks have just gone off at the castle to indicate it's nine o'clock. Look at the queue for Peter Pan. Crazy. That's people that had breakfast reservations. Small world is completely dead. Has anyone even been on it? I don't think many people did go on it, if I'm honest. It says it's a 10 minute wait, it's clearly not. There's never a big wait. No. Well, I don't know, I have seen it on like an hour the other day when it was really, really busy. But I would not wait an hour for a small world. I wouldn't wait any longer than 20 minutes. And even then, that's a bit like... Mm. I wouldn't really do more than 10 if I'm on it. No. It's... Well, we did wait 20 minutes on the very first day, but... It, well, no, it said it was 20 minutes, but I'd say we only waited 10. Yeah, about 10. Anyway. So far, though, all the queuing times have been a lot less. Yeah. What they actually are. Yeah, we've noticed if it's said, I don't know, 70 minutes, not 10 minutes off, it'll be an hour. Like, yeah. a lot of the queuing times have been a lot, well, not a lot, but a good 10 to 15 minutes quicker than they say. I don't think we've been on anything yet that's been exactly that length. Haunted Mansion? Haunted Mansion? No, that's too Big Thunder. Oh my gosh, that's people going to Haunted Mansion. Oh my gosh, look at these people Here. coming at us from every angle. So worth uh, paying. It's, it's really worth it. Like, this is rope drop, so we've obviously been in for like, an hour and 15 longer. Yeah. And this is crazy. It like, is crazy. I understand that rope drop's quicker, but I'd rather just not. I know, like, look at all these crowds. I think we're going to have at least 20 minutes for Big Thunder. Look at all the people. We should have tried to get over quicker. My gosh. So many people just walking out. Don't know if you can see, look at all the people. Yeah, the stock is up Yeah. Ah, they're walking us in. Yeah, we'll get on it. I don't know how long there's a massive queue. This is just to show you the kind of queues there is first thing in the morning so this is literally nine o'clock bang on which way and they're walking us into Frontierland because two of the most popular rides we've got Splash and you've got Big Thunder so they're not, let, not letting people in yet okay they're starting to walk us in now that was good timing come on they only open like Fantasyland. Yeah. Like, it'd be good if they could open like Frontierland or. Yeah, it'd be good if they did one. Yeah. Land There's not as many rides there, is there in Frontierland? It's just mainly Splash and Big Thunder. Exactly. Suppose they could link it with something else. That would be good. Yeah. This is the queue. I don't, obviously people are going to split either Big Thunder or Splash, we'll see. 
Everyone begins what? I don't know, it might be a 50 50. They're both very popular. Five minutes. Mm, I don't know, debatable. Maybe 20. What'd you say, Becky? 10 tops. 10 tops, you reckon? We'll see. So, we, look how sweaty I am. I don't know, we have been running around for the past like, hour and a half. We have. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Winnie the Pooh, yeah. teacups, yeah. and, uh, and Little Mermaid. An so how many did we do? Eight. Eight rides in an hour, that's not bad. We didn't meet the princesses. Uh, I think that's the only thing we didn't do, we didn't we did meet the princesses. Oh, we did we the did. carousel. Yeah, we didn't do small on the carousel. We're not really bothered about them though. So we've just got this, and then we've got breakfast and then so oh yeah yeah this and then breakfast and then castle pictures in our brand new spirit jerseys is the plan and then we're gonna head over to Hollywood Studios okay so it says the standby wait is 20 minutes as we're walking through what time is it Becky 9.06 9.06 so we'll see what time we get on Oh, what I would do to dip my head underneath that water right now. It's got so hot really fast. It's like, oh, look at the water. I need the water. I need it. It's literally got so hot, like in about 10 minutes, it's gone from like comfortable temperature to absolutely melting like you're wrapped in tin foil in the oven on Christmas Day. Why on Christmas Day? Turkey. Wrapped in tin foil. Although I didn't say turkey. <laughs> I really don't think you can see, but my arm is, is dripping. Right, we're going on. Becky, what time is it?
should go to breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> 9.23 and we're off. So, it's definitely time for breakfast. Now, I definitely felt like I was going to fall out of that. The lap bra was not as close as it was last time. However, it was that close last time that I kept whacking my leg on it and I've got a bruise. So, yeah. Although, I've got to admit, a lot of these cars are very small. Like, yeah, they're not that big. They're not very big. Like, especially the seven drawers, mind you, my thighs were squeezed together in between the bars. Um, I'm five foot eight. I mean, to give you a bit of an estimate, in UK clothing I wear a 16 to 18, so I'm not the skinniest, but I'm not massive either. Um, and it's a tight squeeze on most of them, so if you're worried about size, that's a bit of a guide for you, if that helps at all. Splash Mountain is currently 20 minutes as well. That's our last ride of the day, guys. For, um, oh look, there's a good view of the, the drop. I've not seen this view of the drop before. Yeah, so that's that's only 20 minutes. Ooh. And it's 9.25 or something like that, so yeah. Definitely worth doing rope drop if you want 20 minute waits. Definitely worth paying for early morning magic if you want to just hop on to Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. If that is a really big ride that you definitely want to they do. They don't and just do it at Fantasyland though, they do it at Toy Story Land. So you could do Slinky Dog, Toy Story Mania and the Swirling Sources. Yeah. Like. But I'd say it's more worth it at Magic Kingdom because the Magic Kingdom yeah. one is Fantasyland. You get seven attractions. Um, whereas at Toy Story Land it's literally just three rides. Well that's, yeah, because like when we were deciding what to do, we said we'd do fantasy land because you get more. You get more. Yeah. Like, we've been on Slinky Dog, we've been on Toy Story Yeah. I'm sure we'll queue for Swirling Sultans today. We did have a fast pass, yeah. but I changed it. Yeah, I don't really think it's one you need a fast pass for. I mean, it's just like a, well, it is a gentle it's like ride. It's like a 70 minute wait, like constantly, but. Yeah, well, it's, you need it if, if you want, really want to go on it, but. But like we were saying though, nothing really at Hollywood Studios unless they do like rock and roll coaster yeah. at Hollywood Studios and we're, we don't want to do that. No, I don't want to do anything that goes upside down. And Rock and Roller Coaster is the only ride on Walt Disney World property that goes upside down. I know Hyper Space Mountain in Disneyland Paris does, but Space Mountain here is completely different to Disneyland Paris Space Mountain. Yeah, still won't go on it. I won't go on it, no. <laughs> and just another little bit of information for you, it's only half nine and Haunted Mansion is a 10 to 15 minute wait. So that one's again worth doing if you want to go on that and you want to come to a rope drop. Walk straight on, to yeah. Be yeah, it probably is. It's just probably staying 10 minutes to queue for the lift part. Probably. Yeah. We've just spotted Peter Pan's, been walking through and he's. Just having a cute little moment with the little baby. So cute. Oh wow. Oh, That's so lovely. Isn't it? Okay, update for you. 9.30, Seven Dwarfs is on a 100 minute wait. 100 minute wait. 9.30. So, if you really want to go on it and you don't want to wait, I think you're going to have to pay. I'll get a fast pass. Yeah. I'll get a fast pass. But it's like, it's like pixie dust. <laughs> 110, it's just gone up. Wow, 110 now. Literally just gone up. Queue for Winnie the Pooh as well is out the door. It says it's 15 minutes, I don't know. Hmm. There's Alice. There's back again. There's Alice. <laughs> She's just chilling over there. Can we get in this way? I think we might have to go this way. Can we get in over there? Oh, is this? Is it this way? Cosmic rays. Okay, so if you've done early morning magic, breakfast is scrambled eggs, pancakes, potatoes, sausage, and bacon. You can get coffee, tea, apple juice, orange juice, and then you can go for the toppings bar, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, and get all the bits as well. Oh, did I say pancakes? I think I said pancakes. Hey guys, don't judge. We went all in. 
So I got orange juice, Becky got water. You both get a plate, this is what you get. You get bacon, you get pancakes, scrambled eggs, sausage, potatoes. And then on the toppings bar, we both got some granola. I got yogurt, Becky didn't. Got some pastries, we got some ham, and we got some cheese. And there's still loads that we didn't actually. Yeah, there was fruit as well, which we could have got, which I kind of want, but I suppose we, we don't need it. No, it's all right. It's polished off that. Moving on to granola and yogurt. I really like granola and yogurt at home. I eat it most mornings. Don't know. Not normally strawberry yogurt though. I think I might be having Becky's pancakes as well. We got some extra bacon too. I forgot to add that it's all you care to eat. So you have to go up and get a plate of hot food, but you can go up as many times as you want. Why don't you put it on you when you're talking? I'm pointing at me. Um, you can go up as many times as you want to get the hot food plate and obviously the toppings so you can freely walk up to that anyway. Um, yes. It's, it's actually really nice. Really, really nice. I'm enjoying it Bacon's very much. Well. Becky really likes Becky the bacon. bacon. I know, I'm not a fan of it really, really crispy. I prefer um, it like, you know, I like it. the English way. <laughs> Another update for you. I don't know how many steps I've done because I have the Fitbit that doesn't show you the numbers but it does show me lights and it's showing that I'm on four lights which means I've gone over 7,500 steps but to give you a rough idea so it's it's four minutes past ten in the morning and oh I've gone dark bring me some light hello oh, I'm gonna put you up there is it gonna get brighter there we go um to give you a rough idea off Becky's Apple Watch, so I'm guessing I'll be similar. She's done, how many sets have you done? 8,800. 8,800 What, steps. 7 kilometres? 8,800 steps by 10am. That's crazy. I'm wearing it until Yeah. So, we're going to be tired. We'll see. We are going to last until Fantasmic. We have to. We're going to do it. We will do it. <laughs> we're not going again. We have to make sure that we last. Yeah, we're not going to um, Hollywood Studios again. So we have to. We need to watch it. How are you finding the granola? I was going to say it's really nice. Isn't it? No, I really liked it. I finished it. I really, really like the granola. We're doing well, aren't we? So we've both just been trying to work out how many people we think they let in the park for the. Um, Early morning magic. We reckon. Becky like said she thinks 500, but I think I think even less. I think yeah, that, I think like I think no more than 250 people were allowed in for the. Now I don't know whether that was they only sold 250 and they allow more. Obviously, this is only a guesstimate, um, but there was roughly around that. It was definitely worth it. Like everything was walk on, including seven dwarfs. Um, I would say though, if you are going to do it, as soon as you arrive, don't head straight to Seven Doors because ev literally every single person did that. Yeah. So then you will literally wait for a little bit. Like, it's still only 10 minutes, but go and do the little other ones first, then go to it, and then you will literally walk on. That's what I would suggest. Do you agree? I do. I mean, yeah. if, we did, if we didn't go on Seven Dwarfs three times, we could have done everything. Yeah. Like we could have done everything. Well, we only didn't do the princesses and the carousel and the carousel and the small world. Carousel and small world, but we didn't. I didn't really want to do small world because it takes forever. And I didn't really want to get the song stuck in my head. Although now I'm talking about it, it's kind of getting stuck in my head. <laughs> We've been on the carousel already. And carousel is the carousel, isn't it? I'm not really that bothered about meeting the princesses. I like to meet the main characters. We've not met Mickey or Minnie yet. We've met Donald, we've met Daisy, Pluto and Goofy, and we've met Anna and Elsa. We haven't met Mickey and Minnie, which we need to definitely do. We're going to meet them at Tusker House. We are. Yeah, because we've got Tusker House for breakfast. I think on Thursday, I'm not sure. It's Sunday today. I think yeah, it's on Thursday. I think it's Thursday. So... Yeah, because then we get to meet Donald again, so we get to meet Donald in his safari stuff. That'll be good. Salamon. Well, to meet Donald in his safari gear. I'm gonna do things I wanted until the day. To get a tan. 
Thanks, <laughs> McDonald. And you have achieved both now? This life. To a point. We met Donald twice. We met him once in the Mexico Pavilion at Epcot. That was a really good one. That was a well, really good one. Well, yeah, you kind of mainly met him and then I jumped in for a picture at the end. And then we met him at Storybook Circus here at Magic Kingdom, which wasn't as good. Pardon? Yeah, that was disappointing. It was a bit disappointing. Like, you could tell that that cast member just wasn't feeling it that day because all the other three meet and greets, mainly Goofy and Daisy, were really, really good, very interactive. Donald at Storybook Circus wasn't, he was just kind of like, in you come, have a picture, see you later, sort of thing, that was it. Um, but Mexico was really good, and I can imagine Tusker House would be good. I'm hoping so anyway. I saw a video online yesterday of the interaction at Tusker House, and it looks so good. Does it? They all come to your table, don't they? Yeah. So I'm, I'm looking forward to Tusker House because... We haven't had any Mickey waffles yet. No, I know. We've been here for nearly two weeks. We go home a week today. I don't think And we've not had any Mickey waffles yet. But to be fair, this is only the second Disney breakfast we've had. We've had Be Our Guest, and then now we've got this mm. one. And we've been skipping session. breakfast though, haven't we? And then having lunch. Yeah.
to make it happen. So get your dancing shoes on, because we're kicking it off right here in the Magic Kingdom. Because we've been moving it. And we've been shaking it. So now, it's time to mouse get dancing. <laughs> drink out as well while we're on here. Absolutely struggling. Absolutely struggling. That doesn't sound right. Yeah. It's 32 degrees. Becky's just said she hasn't seen me sweat like this yet. <laughs> so hot. I'm dying. Send help. We finally made it on. Oh, that, that breeze is lovely. Day. The place was made with a magical plan And 
Just around the corner is a fantasy land I'm walking right down the middle of Main Street, USA It's a dream that's here to stay For the time of your life We want to fight to some beer You're welcome anytime You have the right to appear I'm walking right down Down the middle of Oh, is a boat over that side? The Starbucks on the oh, they both the same. So we're both just at the Plaza Ice Cream Plaza Ice Cream Parlor, having an ice cream sundae. Becky's not actually touched his yet. It looks really, really good. Mine's got hot fudge sugar in is it hot? Is it actually hot? Mm. It's warm. That's why I didn't want it because I don't like the hot and cold mix. Yeah. It's absolutely freezing inside that ice cream parlor. I actually got goosebumps. And you walk out here and you instantly start sweating. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's hot in it. So hot. We've been sat here now for like. Half an hour? About like 15 minutes. Is that it? Yeah. Oh. We've just got a nice little view of the castle. And um, yeah, we've got an hour until, if you can see, we've got an hour until the parade, which is what we're waiting for. We were supposed to have already been at Hollywood Studios now, but we decided we would wait for the parade because we haven't done it yet and we were struggling to work out when we could come and do it and then we're going to go over to Hollywood Studios. We've been going since like, we've been up since 6 o'clock this morning. It's now 2. We're tired, we're struggling but we're pushing on until we've watched Fantasmic tonight. Do you think we'll make it? Yeah, because we're determined so... We just had an ice cream as our basically lunch. Um, Not that like we were hungry, we just wanted to sit down. Yeah, we wanted to sit down and couldn't really sit down in the seating area without anything, really. We could have just got a drink, but no, I've got. It's nice to experience the ice cream. We've got the Sundays. They were nice, weren't they? Yeah, really nice. And <laughs> it sounds really like random, but the cream was really nice. The whipped cream on top I thought was so nice. Um, So, we're just waiting for the parade. An hour to wait. We're going to try and just hang out at this table for as long as possible and then get a spot before it starts. I know people tend to get start getting a spot for the parade like 45 minutes to an hour before, which would mean getting a spot soon, but I can't sit in the direct sun for all that time. Something's happening now at the castle. What's going on? I don't know what it is. We're nearly there, we're not far off, 
Oh wait, Becky's struggling. We're nearly there. Uh, all the bubbles are going everywhere. later now Becky's here um so what time is it says <laughs> 6 35 so it's much much later we came back after festival of fantasy we was we was gonna go straight to Hollywood Studios but we were both 
tired, really hot. Becky was legs were hurting. And uh, we thought, right, let's come back, have a chill for a bit, and then we'll get to Hollywood Studios. So that is what we're about to do. We've both got changed. Let me just show you my outfit. I bought this Coca-Cola vest top the other day from Walmart in the kids' section. So happy. I've not fit in kids' clothes since I was, like, literally a child. Um, so I've put it on this evening. Look how cute it is. It's a double XL from the kids' section in Walmart with denim shorts. Very happy. I've got pink trainers on. Doesn't really go, but I just wanted to have comfort. <laughs> so let's go. Let's go. Okay, we're at Hollywood Studios. I just thought I'd show you the Skyliner bit. This is what it looks like. It's it's pretty much ready. It does open in a few weeks. But yeah, it goes all the way along there. Does all the actual what they call the carts. I don't know. All the way down there. Okay, I'm in. Just been waiting for Becky, who was going through the bag line. Here she is. Because I didn't have a bag, so I didn't have to wait. So, should we go in? Let's do this. Let's go. Disney's Hollywood Studios. This is actually only the second time we've been here. The first time was like, I don't know, was it the first day? I think it was the very first day. Or was it the second day? I can't remember. First or second day it was. And we didn't last the whole day. We caused, it was the day of the really bad rain, it was wasn't it? Rain it started hammering it down about 1 pm and didn't stop. We got drenched. That was the day I decided to rip my poncho. Yeah. And now it goes all the way down to my hips. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway. We're here now. That's all that matters. Okay. Enjoy. Thank you. We're in. There's the little Mickey. Back into Toy Story Land. Because we've got fast pass for Toy Story Mania. It would be great to go on Slinky Dog when it goes dark. It's supposed to look amazing, but I don't have a clue whether we will get on that because. Um, you might not be that bad. I walked before and it was only on 40 minutes. How was it? Oh, that's not bad. I was going to say, I thought Fantasmic was at 8 o'clock, so I was going to say to do Fantasmic and then come and queue for it because if you get in the queue before the park closes they have to let you on but then Fantasmic's at nine so I'm not, yeah there is a lot of people here Toy Story Mania's on 75 minutes there it is anyway let's go on Toy Story Mania one of my favourite rides. Who won? <laughs> I won. Wasn't that bad? I won. I got 107,000. You got, what did you get? Oh, where are we going here? We're going into some kind of shop. Ooh. I wonder if we've got that top. What top are you looking for? Oh, look at this line you got 80 something thousand, didn't you? Very 82. Yeah. Not too bad. We didn't have a look in there last time. Oh, uh, little Pixar ball. How much is it? 6.99. Oh, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. Woo. It's really bouncy. I kind of want it, but I don't really see a purpose. Yeah, but well, it's just really for display, isn't it? Yeah. It's one of those things, like. Um, um, I like, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. That'd be cool. Oh, look at these ears. Are they cool? They're cool ears. I've not seen them yet. To infinity and beyond. Oh, that's cool. And they're purple in the middle as well. Let me focus on them. Are we going to focus? Doesn't want to focus. No, doesn't want to. It says to infinity and beyond anyway. That's so cool. They're pretty cool. Really like them. 
Right, we're gonna go on alien smelling saucers because I mean it says it's a 20 minute wait. It looks like it might be a uh, shorter than that. It's just little kids, right? Oh my god, there's two. There's two of them. Ooh. Um, yeah. It's just a kids ride, but we've got to do it. We gotta do it. So we're gonna do it. It took us, I'd say, a good hour to get out of Hollywood Studios. Um, they let you out through like a passage that takes you kind of like 
through the back way of the park and then you kind of come back out onto like the main strip road bit within the park i don't know if that makes any sense um just in front of the entrance and then we hung out in the shops for about 15 maybe about 15 minutes because it was just madness people trying to leave and it, it calmed down quickly while we were in there so we did that then we left and then we ordered a taxi we ordered a lift so a tip for you guys so we're in a group on facebook i, do, I can't remember if i've mentioned it i probably have it's called it's all under time it's really good there is a lot of people in it on facebook mainly uk people there is americans as well uh, it's for, obviously for people to share advice with each other for Orlando holidays, it's really good, go and join it. But whenever the question comes up about Ubers and Lyfts, people ask all the time which is cheaper. And you get a lot of people saying, oh, only use Uber, it's loads cheaper. Only, only use Lyft, it's loads cheaper. Honestly, we've been changing between the two apps. Whenever you need to order a taxi, look up both because literally some rides have like tonight a taxi coming back here from hollywood studios on uber was 25 dollars and on lyft was 18 no uh 14.99 14 so that's like 11 dollars difference um earlier on today a taxi was like five dollars difference but sometimes uber's been drastically cheaper sometimes lyft has been drastically cheaper so it's not a case of one's always cheaper than the other but always check between the two because you could save yourself like five six sometimes even ten eleven dollars per ride just by checking between the two so don't just stick with one do flip between the two that is like a major tip for you um and also i just wanted to say fantasmic was amazing it was really really good however we thought we was being quite early getting walking into the like arena area at half eight it starts at nine we walked in at like 8 35 it was nearly full there was like only one more strip of seating left and then they would have been full so we got there like 25 minutes early thinking that we'd be okay no like if we'd been a couple minutes later we wouldn't have got in so what i would say is make sure you get there at least 45 minutes Maybe even an hour before, if you want to guarantee a spot and a good seat. And I can't stop looking at this sunburn that I've got going on. Anyway, we're back at the hotel. We haven't had tea yet. There's like a 24 hour marketplace with like a mini cafe downstairs in the, this hotel. So Becky's just asked them to, to make us some plain pasta with cheese. And I've got a little garlic bread. It's pasta with marin marinara sauce, I can't open it, and meatballs, and a Sprite. So, I'm going to eat this, and then I'm going to go to bed. Anyway, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this very long day. We've been up since 6am. It's now nearly half 11. No, it's not. It's 10 past 11. I lie. Um, please do give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Please comment lovely things down below. Don't be nasty and hit the subscribe bu button if you like watching our lovely faces. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye!